difficult to see such a large bird flying so gracefully without respecting the evolution of such an incredible species. When we look to these animals, you recognize the majesty and the beauty, yes? Albatrosses are in great danger of extinction, with 15 out of 22 species under particular threat. The world without them would really be a very bleak world indeed. The albatross is one of nature's great survivors, circumnavigating the globe for perhaps a million years. So when this magnificent bird came under a new and disastrous threat, scientists from all over the world came to its aid. They are the men and women of the Albatross Task Force, set up in 2005 when it was realized that 100,000 albatross were being killed accidentally each year by commercial fishing. For a seabird that has evolved over millennia to find small available pieces of food in a vast ocean desert, uh, a fishing vessel is a huge opportunity for them. When the fishing vessels start setting hooks with bait on it, a squid or a, or a mackerel or something, then the seabirds will target that because they see it as food. And when they take that, they get hooked and they're dragged underwater and drown. The task force team works alongside the fishing industry to help them change methods so they can continue to catch fish without harming the birds. So as an albatross task force instructor, we go out to sea to create awareness. So that's just explaining to fishermen what the problems are, showing them exactly what's happening out at sea and, and showing them the solutions that are available. We are talking with fishermen, explain to them about uh, ocean conservation because it's hard to explain to someone about extinction when you have 500 birds around the vessel. The fishermen were a little bit skeptical in, in the view that they thought we were going to stop them fishing, not that we're actually there to help them just fish in a sustainable way. Um, but now I've been working with them for five years and they no longer see us as a threat. It's been a long and difficult process, but the work is paying off. In South Africa alone, the death rate for the albatross has dropped by 99%. Now, the Namibian government is also introducing regulations that will help protect the birds. About 30,000 birds were killed in Namibia um, a year, but we are hoping to reduce these numbers by 85 to 90%. This is an amazing opportunity to have a positive story which really makes a major difference for some of the most incredible animals on the planet. Just seeing how graceful and beautiful and exceptionally large they are made me want to put more effort and energy into my work. When I started with the project, I didn't really know much about birds. So for me, it was just another job. There was this morning, I was um, up in the gantry and I was sitting there. And then I looked at the shy albatross Wow, it was, uh, it was beautiful. When you've been on the deck of the fishing vessel and seen what's happening to the seabirds, I don't think I could do anything else. <laughs>